There's a question that's been coming up very often recently and that question is I'm not sure am I going through depression or is it actually Bairag that I'm experiencing but what is Bairag? Bairag has been mentioned throughout Gurbani Bairag has been mentioned throughout the older texts as well within the Vedas What is Bairag? If we just look at the word itself it comes from the word Raag and Raag can be translated to love Raag can also be translated to attachment Be just negates the word so Be Raag meaning detached so the question here they're asking is that I'm sure even myself throughout my life has gone through this situation and I've asked my own self this question so is it detachment that I'm going through but detachment in a positive manner, detachment in a good way meaning that I'm realizing this world is all false and one day it will come to an end that jo dise so chalan har that whatever I see with my eyes one day will actually perish so is that what I'm going through? or is it now or is that, am I going through depression because I do feel low and down as well and I don't feel like associating with everybody else with everything else that everybody else is doing so what is it that I'm going through? And to understand this, it's not actually that difficult because we can just take that support of Gurbani again to understand this. Guru Ram Das Ji describe what Birag actually is. And they say that Hartijri Lav Man Chao Peya Bairagiya Balram Jiyo Bairagiya is calling out to that person, calling out to that one that is actually going through this experience of detachment. But detachment alone, when we say it like that, it can actually sound quite negative. But it's not. It's not negative as long as, how do we know it's not depression? Man chao pea. And we've all heard this word. If not all of us, there's many of us that have grown up speaking Punjabi that have heard this word, ja. And will be said, it'll be said, somebody might say to us, Kinna chaaya ke ne onaya. Kinna chaaya ke kalnu asi oho ja ke khedanaya. So we've got this jar meaning this excitement but in this context if we just slightly alter it from excitement to yearning but this yearning is very much like excitement it's when you can feel that something is close when you know you're actually walking towards something and you're getting closer to that something and now you're getting excited so a biragi is somebody that is a seeker not somebody that is depressed not somebody that has no motivation for anything because that's what it is to be depressed during depression we lose our motivation for life but during Bairag we're actually full of jaw, we're full of excitement we become a seeker we're walking towards something we feel excited that something is getting closer Guru Amar Das Ji Paat Ji described that state to us perfectly and they say Man chao pea prab agam sunaya Har mangal gao sakhi grahu mandar baniya Man chao peya Again there's that word My mind is in this yearning My mind is in this excitement Man chao peya What for? Prab agam sunaya I've heard You know just like we're waiting for somebody Imagine that wife Her husband's gone away to work Now she knows that time's coming closer He had gone away to work And she knows she's yearning every moment for him to come back and she's singing from her heart that Aavaho Sajjana Hon Dekha Darshan Tera Ram She's saying Ho Aavaho Sajjana She's saying Oh come My true friend, my true companion And then she's saying Kar Aap Nade Khadi Takka She's saying that I'm standing in my house And I'm standing there and I'm looking I'm looking to see if you're coming It's in that excitement Like Guru Amar Das Ji Paat Ji is describing That Man Chao Pe Aa Prab Aagam Sunaya She's saying that I can hear that Vaheguru, that Prab that one is coming closer now I remember don't get confused to think that it's one being that it's somebody called Mr. God that is taking steps to come closer when we say we can hear that that one is coming we start, that ego is starting to drop that eye is starting to drop we can start to feel we start to feel holistic we start to feel a part of everything we start to feel that that true oneness and in that excitement 
to be actually experiencing the true essence of life, to feel a part of everything and that excitement. Instead, instead we're in depression, you don't want to wake up. You go to sleep and you think that what's it going to be like when I, when I open my eyes again in the morning? I'm going to dread opening my eyes. The thoughts, that moment, that having no drive to live, it's going to start all over again in the morning, but instead, but instead when you've got that birag inside of you, you're thinking, do I have to go to sleep? And even if you fall asleep for a few hours, you can't wait to wake up again in that morning because you're thinking that now, that moment, just like Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pacha Ji, is in that moment for Guru Ram Das Ji. That Mera man locha, my mind is yearning. Mera man locha Guru Darsan Tai, that I can actually have the vision of my Guru, to have that vision of that one. And then you're actually excited to get up. Your whole day is spent in that yearning, in that excitement. And instead, we can you utilize that energy. And why is it then? Some people get confused that is it depression because it seems very similar in some sense from the outside because that same drive towards money might not be there anymore but it doesn't mean that they don't earn money to survive anymore that same drive thinking the whole hopes they've put on their in their house the whole hopes they had put in their car before the whole hopes they had put in their family before but that's not what their ultimate hope is anymore they still have that care and they still have that love for their family that doesn't change one little bit but in depression it may in depression that same love and affection towards the family could completely diminish and go but when you're in Birag that care doesn't go out instead that care starts to grow because because that eye is now going you're starting to feel more affection towards them and now what happens instead yes you might not have that same drive where you think I need more money to make me happy but you still have that drive to continue working. So don't get confused. Some people think that if, if I actually fall into detachment, that I won't have that same yearning for work anymore. That's not true. Instead, you're now motive for work. It becomes sincere. It becomes pure. Because now it's not just for greed. It's not just for that money. But instead, it's to see where you're getting close to that one. You're seeing that one in every one and everything, even in those at work. So now there's that excitement to even go into work and actually serve them. So there's a huge drift, difference, Sangaji, to be very clear on this now. Guru Ram Das Ji, let's go back to those words. That Hartijadi Lav, in that third state, Guru Ram Das Ji Pataji saying, that Manacha Opea, my mind is yearning and it's in this excitement because I'm getting towards something. There's a drive, you're working towards something in depression, there's nothing to work towards. Instead, many people in depression, they actually drive becomes completely backwards. It's working towards ending a life. In that jaw, in that birag, it comes, it works towards actually experiencing life at its fullest and it, in its true essence. There's the complete opposites where they are going. So if you think that you are losing your drive completely for the world and completely for life, if you feel that you're losing your compassion, if you feel that you don't even want to look at someone, you don't, you can't connect to anyone. If that's how we're starting to feel and we feel that actually we'd rather not be here and rather be dead. And we start feeling that we don't want to wake up in the morning. We start feeling what's the point to work? What's the point to money? What's the point to anything? And, in, and, and instead we lose, lose our drive completely for everything. But then we should start questioning ourselves. That is there something wrong with me? But in that jar, we start to blossom. In that jar, we're starting to walk forward. In that jar, every moment, we're actually getting closer to our goal and people will actually start to see that there's more love and affection oozing out of this being now. They can actually see there may be tears rolling down at times. Yes, the world might not be able to understand those tears, but those tears are of joy because you can see your destination getting closer closer to becoming love, closer to actually getting to experience that source of life where we have all come from. So Sangaji, remember, depending on which side we fall on, if we fall on that side, we're going to be living our every moment thinking, Mere har ki, koi baat sunave, so paai, so mera beer, that we're yearning to listen to those that have experienced that one, 
and now are actually living in that world and we're wanting to be amongst them to hear about that world so we can be in that world. But that means we're on a good path. We're actually there on our way to attainment. But actually, if we fall in the other category, Sangaji, don't beat yourselves up. Don't think that now you're actually failing. No, it's just another moment and experience for whatever the reason, whatever the cause that has got us to that place. But do seek as well. Those that are seeking for God are seeking in a different way, but those that are experiencing depression, low mood, they should be seeking too. Seeking for those that can actually help them. So do call out. Do let somebody know that you're feeling like that so it doesn't actually get worse, gets to a point where there's no turn back. So then do try and call out for help and get some guidance. So Sangaji, hope that this has cleared some form of dubda, some, some, some form of doubt and it can help us to understand which direction that we're moving in. I remember, this is all energy. So even if somebody is starting to feel low, there may be that opportunity that energy can be actually channeled and put towards becoming a seeker of experiencing that one as well. So it could be that they're closer than they think. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Thank you.